the hard part is already over. With the PicoCalc flashed and our app installed, it's time to physically connect the two devices. Be careful here to connect the correct GPIO pins. It boils down to three wires, a ground, transmit or the TX, and receive, the RX. Since the PicoCalc has its own power button, we don't need to connect a power line. To be specific, you need to connect the PicoCalc TX pin to the flipper's RX pin, and then the PicoCalc RX pin to the flipper's TX pin, and then lastly, a ground pin on the PicoCalc to the flipper's ground pin. Notice how TX and RX are crossed over. The flipper transmits to the Pico's receiver and the Pico transmits to the flipper's receiver. This is standard for UART communication. Double check your wiring. Getting it wrong likely won't cause damage, but it definitely won't work.